Hi everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at a brand newly released deck, just released December 8th, 2023. So going on about a month, four weeks or so, uh, I'm recording this in February 2024. So I guess going on two months. Yeah, going on two months. So this is a second edition of an older Oracle deck that was originally rele uh, released back in 2010. So it's been out uh, 20, 13 years. Yeah, 10, yeah, about 13 years. So it's been out quite a long time. So it must be doing well for them to do a second um, version. As you can see, it's called Liquid Crystal Oracle by Justin Moikea Ashar Moikea Asar. I'm not sure how he pronounced that. Apologies. Return of the Atlantean Way for the Children of Light. 77 cards. So that's a lot of cards uh, and guidebook set for a tarot deck. Um, for a for an oracle deck it's a lot of cards because usually oracle decks have less cards than um, tarot so it's published by blue angel there is a thumb hole cut out it's in a two uh, part hard case box it's a larger size box uh, according to Amazon uh, the, the publishers also Llewellyn publications and I believe that's because they are the distributor for uh, Blue Angel decks in the United States. And I just want to give a big shout out and thank you to Llewellyn Publications for sending this uh, deck out to me to review. So let's open it up. Pretty purple for all you purple lovers like myself. It matches my uh, mouse perfectly, my mouse pad. How about that? Look at that. <laughs> Color coordinated. <laughs> All right. And Blue Angel always have their signature blank white uh, paper to cover the um, guidebook. Very nice, thick, heavy, weighty guidebook, which we'll take a look at in depth after we look at the cards. The cards are underneath and very pretty purple, lavender, pink hued box. The cards are bind with paper binding. Here we go. All right, so I'm just going to toss that. Here are the backs, very gentle pastel -y pinks and purple hues light blue very pretty the sides are not guided oh, gilded. the sides are not gilded uh, buttery soft texture very nice feel very tactile feel feels good uh, cars a medium car stock flexible bendable pliable feels papery uh, versus plasticky. Comparing it to a traditional plaid back tarot card size, it is a little taller, not a lot taller, and it is wider though. So definitely larger than a uh, plaid back tarot card size. It's uh, about the same size as the Hay House Oracle cards, if you guys are familiar with Hay House Oracle or Angel cards. It's a tad bit smaller, so it's like a hair shorter and a hair skinnier so basically hay house oracle card size pretty much all right so without further ado let's zoom in and take a look at this there's a lot to go through since there's 77 cards zoom in nice and tight so you can see all the details looks like it's an alphabetical order by the stone or crystal wow there's a lot of things in here and you can feel the energy so look at that symbol and uh, we have Amazonia Amazonite the middle road I'm not sure what these dots are colors 
Merbiel, Amber, Laughter. So there's this name up here. I'm assuming that's a name of an angel or I'm not sure what that is. A name of something. Here's there's symbols in here and colors and then the name of the crystal and then there's a key word. Amethyst, humility. These are powerful. Angel light, peace. There's use of colors as well as symbols, like each card if you're sensitive to energy or you use uh, Reiki or any other symbols, you can probably pick up the vibration from these. Appetite, foresight. Apophilite, astral travel. Aquamarine, simplification. Aventuring, the unlimited self. As a right focus. Ooh, look how beautiful this is. Black coral, light in the darkness. Black onyx, grounded self awareness. Black tourmaline, protection. Bloodstone, purification. Blue lace agate, calm expression. Boji. Or bungee, bungee, bungee stone. Balance, align, and clear. Boswana agate, breathe. Carnelian, creativity. Celestite, knowing. Charlotte, Char individ individualization. Lots of purple in this deck. Chrysocolla, silence. Crystal phrase, fearless movement, citrine abundance. So they have the colors is like the colors of the stone or hues of the stone. Hues of the color of the stone. Clear calcite, universal mind. Clear quartz, light embodied. Croco, I'm not familiar with this. Croco ite or Crocote, passion, diamond, light body, Diopta, Dioptes, the healing heart, I do own that stone, Elestial quartz, angelic truth, emerald, spiritual healing, fluorite, mental mastery, garnet, manifestation of purpose, gold, the solar angel, Green calcite, letting go. Green tourmaline, enlightenment. Hematite, spiritual grounding. Hemimorphite, the egoless state. That's interesting. Herkimer diamond, oneness. Howlite, spiritual beginning. Imperial Topaz, Confident Manifestation, Iolite Vision, J Dream Work, Kunzite, Heart Activation. Ooh, this, they really capture the energy of Kunzite. Kunzite is like a light, soft, pink stone, very gentle energy. They really capture it with this color. Beautiful. Looks like the Kunzite stone colors for sure. Kind Knight Alignment, Labradorite Free Will, Lapis Lazuli Realization, Larimar Service, Lepidolite Conscious Feeling, Lodestone Earth Embrace, Malachite Clearing, Motivate Star Child, Moonstone Mother Goddess, Morganite Equality in Love, Obsidian, True Self-Reflection, Opal, Emotional magnif Magnification, Emotional Magnification. Does that mean you're magnifying the emotions? Interesting. Peach, Calcite, Harmonize, Peridot, The Bringer of Joy, Petrify Wood, Past Life Embrace, 
Pink Tourmaline, Gift of Love. Pyrite, Spark of Life. Red Jasper, Nurturing. Rhodochrosite, Self Love. Rhodonite, Patience. Rose Quartz, Forgiveness. Ruby, Spiritual Warrior. Sapphire, Spiritual Truth. Selenite, Spiritual Guidance. Silver, the Lunar Path. Smoky Quartz, Earth Light. Soda Light, New Vision. Sujilite, the Inner Child. Sulfur, Physical Radiance. Sunstone, Raw Light Radiant. Tanzanite, Angelic Messenger. Tiger's Eye, Personal Power in Action. Turquoise Spirit of the Earth. Zircon, Life Changes. And then here's another look at the backs. Let's take a look at the guidebook. Zoom out a little bit. A little harder cover. And this does say copyright 2023 second edition. So you know we have the second edition. For the children of light, may your boundless love, eternal wisdom, and patient power deliver the new earth into peace. Forgive us our ignorance of your greatness. Wow, and then they have the contents. I'll list it. What is this? I guess it's like a poem of some kind. It's long. I'm not going to read it. And it's in font that's not good for my eyes. <laughs> Arise, great child of light. In your hands, you hold the rebirth of our earth, a dawning of a new age. Upon the visible horizon sits the earth of old, the land we walked and named Atlantis, a land that is soon to live, nurture, and guide us again. The start of 2013 saw the beginning of a new age that heralded a return to the crystalline ways of unity, oneness, and truth. This great event has been in the making since the Atlantean planet ascended without many of us. This oracle will help open the doors and aid the smooth transition back to the energies of Atlantis by opening us to the mineral kingdom's creators, the master crystal divas. As a precaution, these beings and holistic energies of crystals were taken from us at the fall of Atlantis. We have worked with elementals and minor crystal divas, but communication with these higher beings has been impossible until now. The crystals are ready to reunite with us. The devit or devit paths are active, and these cards are your keys. Walk gently, for with each step you kiss your finest creation. The ancient wisdom within his, I think this is a typo, this, supposed to have a T. The ancient wisdom within this oracle can be embraced with divination or as part of a holistic healing system. Whichever you choose, the master crystalline divas will rise by your side, enclose you in an octahedron of light, and lovingly guide you through the open doorways as you walk your healing path. I remember the Atlantean world, but like many, was once confused by the fragment of its history that rode the waves of time. With much of the whole missing, we were left with conflicting information and complexity. As a new millennium dawn, that changed for me. For 12 years, a ruby, the spirit of Jabru or J Jabrura, entered my life as a gift from a Tibetan monastery where it resides. They told me that since Atlantis, I have come to Earth every 200 years to reunite humanity with the crystals and their creators. The Devic Kingdom, the Devic Kingdom. Since then, Atlantis and her ways have filled my life. Now its foundation, the holistic minerals, crystals, and metals of our world can come to life for you. 
Welcome to Crystal Healing the Atlantean Way. It is a way of love, wisdom, and power combined and balanced as a glorious white rose within whose petals lies a new world with human, angel, and diva as one. Blessing and aloha, Justin. And then it has card meanings. The 77 cards in your liquid crystal oracle are listed in this guidebook alphabetically. The information in each crystal has been divided into sections that offer different perspective and suggestions on how to work with the cards. So name and simple purpose, the crystal's name, messages from Master Crystal Diva. Oh, so I think, I guess the name up top is the name of the diva not angel I'm so used to saying angel the, so the crystal diva names the crystal in healing your healing journey today the affirmations and keyword alright so let's take a look understanding the cards so I have a chart here oh so these little circles do mean something at the bottom right oh there are some okay they're not only circle okay so there are symbols okay I wasn't sure if these meant okay so there are meanings and you have a chart here the Atlantean cities city number one two three four city name interesting All right, let's get one so I can see what the heck they're talking about here. Boji, okay. So Boji stone is one. So we have one as a dot. So it's the city number one. It's the city name. It's not on the card. Bonji Stone. It doesn't say, I guess this is the diva's name up there. And then there's the keyword. All right. I just had a C because I'm a visual person. So I want to pull the card to see what they're talking about. All right. So these symbols at the left and right corner of the cards are the Atlantean cities. Reading the cards. Step-by-step -step liquid crystal oracle reading. Activate the octahedrons of light. Your intention should be enough to do this. Recognize and understand the question, purpose, or reason. Okay, I'm not going to read all that. Card layouts. Card, oh, then it has card one, physical. Card two, emotional. Card three, the trinity reading. Card messages. So you do get a small color picture of each card. And then the message from the Master Crystal Diva. Yeah, so this is the name of the Diva up top, Amazonia. And then Amazonite in healing, what it does. So it talks about the stone and how it heals. Then your healing journey today. And meaning why, you know, why you drew the card, the meaning. And then the affirmation, I walk the path I am, and then the keywords. So each card has a lot of information. Very nice. Total of 279 pages. Here's about the author in the back here magical pacific islands of vanatu interesting i don't know where that is all right so let's uh shuffle the cards and see zoom out clear the deck Let me add my energy for a second. All right. So let's shuffle. So it's uh, 
The length is okay for petite hands to hold. It's not too bad to overhand shuffle. And then you can hold it also this way. It's a little bit easier because it's skinnier this way. All right. So there are a lot of cards. It's a thick deck. It's 77 cards. So a lot thicker. A lot more cards than the average Oracle deck out there. So do it one more time. So that's fine. And I want to make the deck a little skinnier before I attempt to riffle shuffle. It will riffle shuffle fine. And then I'll Let's see if I can riffle shuffle the whole deck. I don't know. It's kind of thick. I might be able to. Well, you can, but it's a little thick for petite hands. It's easier to just make the deck a little smaller so you can grab all of them. Let's try one more time. Oh, I hate it when it does that. All right. There you go. So you can riffle shuffle. All right. So let's get a card so we can see how it works with the guidebook. Okay. That card wanted to come out, obviously. The diva is... I don't know if it should be pronounced Isis Somel or Isis Somel. Either Isis Somel or Isis Somel is the name of the diva of this crystal. The stone or crystal is Larimar and the key word is service. Ah, some of us may be called to be in service or some of us may already are in service or we're just be reminded to be in service. I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, let's see how easy it is to look this card up. Oh, wow, it's in alphabetical order. Oh, I turn right to the L section. How good is that? So, Lari, Mar, is it the next one? No, nope. it's LP, LR. So, I turn two pages away. All right, so that's still in frame, so you can see the cards. Hopefully, you can see the guidebook also. Message from Master Crystal Diva. Oh, Isis Somel. Okay, Isis, Isis Somel. I thought I was a T there for a second. Feel my peaceful wave brushing the shore. Light me a white candle and within its light calmly float within me along the unique path of your service. Enter the times forgotten when humans and all creation from angel to elemental walk together hand in hand. This is my world, now only perceived by those that desire perception. I am the teacher's teacher, igniting the playing field of life with the infinite pathways of joy and expression, each unique and all important. Step into me, the unlimited nature of your creativity. Growth and knowledge will shine from you with heart and mind at peace and calm in the ocean of purity. I'm sorry, ocean of unity. In my guidance, you are the lighthouse of purpose, calm on the rocks of fear, leading by example for others to behold as they pass in the darkness of uncertainty, lost behind the veils of the illusionary physical worlds, Walk your path wisely. I am ever with you. In service, we are upon the very steps of I am, and your path home is lit now by the great central sun. Larimar in healing. Larimar, the stone of service, is a beautiful blue stone with white inclusions that whisk through it like a breaking wave in the ocean. 
It is air and water combined, birthed through volcanic fire and made physical in earth's sacred embrace. No other stone on earth delivers such a balance of elements and carries their lessons within it. Larimar allows for a harmonious blending of emotions, which is water, and mind, which is air, cooling all the fiery areas and soothing peace and calm. It then removes the old patterns and opens a holistic view of, of self, spiritually and physically. Wherever there is a fire in life, such as the emotional and mental extremes of anger, hurt, fear, pain, and impatience, Larimar is the solution. Larimar activates a fearless ability to flow through life. It reconnects us to the earth and the cyclic goddess or cyclic goddess energy, which activates a wondrous feeling of freedom in the physical world. This makes it an ideal stone for those feeling trapped in material life, such as the new children of light who need to rediscover the wonders of free will. It awakens creativity, the ability to manifest in the physical world and the inner child that has fallen asleep. Then it powerfully replaces in action, confusion, tears, and pain with action, imagination, playfulness, laughter, and joy. Larimar can be worked with to bring soulmates and twin flames together and to resolve issues between them. Wow, nice. This allows for rapid spiritual growth. Great beings who answer within the frequency of Larimar include Lady Isis, Kuan Yin, Lady Nada, and Ascendant Master Sanada. Sacred deity correspondences include Artemis, Poseidon, Hathor, Nuit, and Anher. The angelic realm is powerfully represented by our angel Uriel. In healing, Larimar is known to clear the body's meridians and allow true understanding and permanent healing to occur. Larimar is a valuable support in treating all cancers as it is able to cool and redistribute life force from areas of excess such as tumors. This ability is powerful when it is coupled with black coral and diamond. It can help with inflammation, fevers, and sunburn, and gentle pain relief. Your healing journey today. So it's so long, so I'm not going to read it at all, but that gives you an idea. And then the affirmation is, my journey is my gift to the world. And the key words are cooling, calm, mental, and or emotional balance healing fire attitudes inner child atlantean and lemurian history isis kuan yin lady nana poseidon neptune astrology go with the flow very nice so very in depth lots of information so good deck to learn about stones but more specifically for people that want to work or do healing work or a journey and uh, go a little deeper meditation guidance so I, I feel this is more of a daily work journey spiritual sort of a debt versus a uh, you know divination sort of a deck if that helps as usual, if you guys are interested in purchasing the deck or wanting to check it out a little bit more in depth, then uh, I will put the links in the description underneath the video as usual. Thanks for watching and thank you again to Llewellyn for sending this deck out to me to review. And I will catch you all again on the next video. Bye.